Hey everyone, welcome to today's Highlights Lowlights video. As you can see, today is going to be a nice video with some really spicy clips. Uh, even if not all of them go my way, I had actually like a really good two or three games in a row where like the fights were nice and on point and everything was kind of happening the way that I wanted it, the pace that I wanted it. And so you'll see here that obviously there's some fights where I don't win because this is a highlights and lowlights video, so it's not just going to be all perfect. And I always do that too, just uh, like Mike uh, Psycho Ghost said, it's always a good idea to show you losing as well, so that way people understand that you're just human like everybody else. You're just a you know normal four, five, six star KD player, just like the majority of the player base. So it's relatable because if you were always winning, then everybody knows. Okay, well he's obviously going to win in this clip. So what's the point of even watching it? So that's what we're working on today is kind of showing the the nice week that I had, and I'm going to throw in some recent clips with, as well as some clips that are earlier on in the event. Uh, these clips are are very recent, so I'm kind of warmed up, my shots on, everything's good, and then there's some clips where obviously my shots not going to be on, and sometimes you just can't hit anything. So without further ado, here's the rest of the video.
There's something otherworldly powerful about the flaming charge. For some reason, it just puts fear into the enemy when they see somebody coming at them with a sword just on fire. Like, they don't even care. And uh, also, I don't know if you caught that, but when he res me, from his perspective, I didn't even realize that he res me right into a bear trap and killed me immediately. So I didn't even get to, like, see myself come back to life. I just didn't snap to it until later on I got up and I'm like, why do I only have one bar? Like I only died once. Like what happened? And then it realized like, Oh, okay. Well, he res me in that trap. He didn't even pay attention. So, uh, you know, it turned out good though. Yeah. He got me killed. i uh, pretty sure it was him that was pinging like too many times where I couldn't hear anything but pings. And I thought that the enemy that was kind of over to my right had moved over to my left. So I was actually like backing up, looking to my left in case he came down the other side of stairs. And then I got blasted with the Romero round. So it happens, you know, the teammates, they can't talk to you. And, and uh, even if they can, it's proximity based. So even if he was trying to talk to me, you know, over, you know, voice over internet, it still wouldn't have carried that far. I wouldn't have been able to hear anything that he said, but uh, I think it was worth it to have that crazy clip of him just running around, just mowing down people while on fire. I would definitely have, uh, if I could have scripted it that way, I would have done it that way myself. All right, so on to the next clip.
Yeah, so there was the full clip of that fight from the intro, kind of showing how I was able to hear them coming up, and I hid underneath the edge of the little walkway on the outside of the building coming off the swamp. And just unfortunately, I couldn't get a good angle on the guy in the building. And then when it came time to hit my shot on him, I turned it because the other guy shot me in the back, thinking, oh yeah, my teammate's going to you know, watch the guy behind me. I'm going to go push the gator. And then I got shot in the back from the guy that my teammate I thought was looking at. And so it, it doesn't matter in the end because obviously we were able to pull off some hijinks and get it done. So that's the uh, the outcome that you're looking for. I'll take the W however we get it. And then from here, as you can see, we're working on the assassin. And we take the assassin and uh, we finish it up from there. And we walk out with the bounties. And with a, a nice little uh, claim to fame that we got these LFGs together who all did their own little thing in the comeback and won a very improbable team on team battle and then uh, again got cut off on the way over to the bounty. The bounty still hadn't been banished yet and we won that battle too. So uh, obviously highlights, lowlights. I had a little bit of a low light in the other clip even though I still came out okay with uh, the team of the Flaming Charge. In this case we'll have a real low light because for whatever reason uh, this was kind of sandwiched in between a few of the matches that you're seeing here. I just could not hit this guy on this match and You'll see what I mean. It's just the whole situation was frustrating, including watching the teammates do their thing. <laughs> so enjoy it and facepalm like I was facepalming, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.